Hi, this is Rob with Botana Media. I'm going to show you how to use the photo editing app Snapseed. Snapseed is a photo editing app for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. It is also available for desktop computers, both Mac and Windows. I'm going to demonstrate Snapseed on the new iPad. Snapseed was the 2011 iPad app of the year and the Technical Image Press Association has awarded Snapseed the best mobile photo app for 2012. Let's begin. Go to the upper left corner and tap the Open Image button. You can create a new image by tapping the camera button and taking a photo with the iPad's camera, or open an existing image from the iPad's photo library. Let's edit an existing image. These are my current photo albums on my iPad, the camera roll, photo library, and Malta. I'll go to the camera roll. I'm going to choose a photo I took with the Canon PowerShot SX260 using Digital Zoom. This photo came from my last video where I explained what is Digital Zoom and how to use it. I'll put that link to that video below so you can view it later. On the left panel is the different basic adjustment filters and creative adjustment filters organized into different groups. I like to begin with the automatic or autocorrect filters in the upper left. The autocorrect filter will automatically adjust for color and contrast and then give you the ability to fine tune those automatic adjustments. The way Snapseed works is that you begin by tap and hold on the screen and then choose which adjustment you want to make by moving your finger up or down and highlighting that adjustment. I'll fine tune this adjustment, contrast, by moving my finger to the right to increase contrast and to the left to decrease contrast. Now let's fine-tune the color correction. In the lower left is a compare button. Tap and hold to see what the photo looked like before making adjustments inside this adjustment group. In the lower right is the apply button. Tap the apply button to apply the adjustments you just made. After applying the adjustment, Snapseed automatically takes you back to the main screen so you can choose another adjustment group. We'll go to the Selective Adjustment group up top. The Selective Adjustment group will allow you to adjust the area or object in the image by using a control point. You can have multiple control points on the image. To set a control point, tap the Add button on the bottom. Tap the area on the image you want to adjust. You can expand or contract the adjustment area by using two fingers. Then tap and hold on the screen and choose what you want to adjust. I'll increase the saturation by moving my finger to the right. Tap on the control point, bring up a menu of options for that control point. Copy, delete, reset, etc. I'll copy and tap over here to paste. You can paste that adjustment in multiple areas. I'll add another control point. You can move a control point by pressing and holding. Then this loop magnifier pops up. It magnifies the area under the control point at 100%. I'll delete these two bottom control points and apply the adjustments. Let's go in the Tune Image Adjustment group. That's the group with the yellowish orange wrench. The options you have to adjust in this group is brightness, ambience. Ambience is a special type of contrast that controls the balance of light in a photo. Contrast, saturation, and white balance. White balance you can make the photo more cooler or warmer. Let's see the effects of ambience. Now add some saturation. and play with the white balance. Moving to the left makes the photo more cooler and moving to the right makes the photo more warmer. Let's compare the before and after and apply the changes. Let's turn this photo so slightly. Go to the Straighten Adjustment group. A grid pops up over the image so you can use it as a guide to straighten the image. Just use your finger to move the image around. Okay, I like it like that. And apply the adjustment. Let's crop the image. Tap on the crop adjustment group. On the bottom, tap on ratio. 
and this window pops up so you can choose different aspect ratios you may want to use to crop the image. The aspect ratios available going from left to right are freeform, original. Original keeps the same aspect ratio as the current image. One to one, DIN. DIN is an aspect ratio for European paper sizes such as A4, A3, A2, etc. Three to two used on DSLRs. Four to three used on compact cameras. Five to four is U.S. paper sizes and also used for making 8x10s and 16x20s. Seven to five used for making 5x7 prints and 16 to 9 used on most HD TVs. I'm going to choose 5 to 4. Use your finger to adjust how you want to crop the image. You can flip the crop around by tapping the rotate button on the bottom. Okay, I like it like that and apply the adjustment. The Details Adjustment Group. This group is used to enhance details and improve sharpness. There are two adjustments in this group, sharpness and structure. Structure increases the details. It brings out the texture of objects without affecting the edges of those objects. Let's see the effects of structure. And do a before and after compare. And apply the adjustments. This next set of adjustments are called the Creative Adjustments Group. You can apply black and white, vintage, drama, grunge, focus effects, frames, and tilt shift. I'll cover this set of adjustments in another video. Here's my final image. I'll save the image. You can share the image with various social media, email, Flickr, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or open the image in other applications. Or you can print the image. To print an image, you need an AirPrint compatible printer, which prints via Wi-Fi. You can find a link below to this image and other variations of this image below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel.